now we will be seeing how to draw the hands for the clock using small clocks small models of clocks so as we've seen already we have seen numbers so 12 o'clock 1 o'clock 2 o'clock 3 o'clock 4 o'clock 5 o'clock 6 o'clock 7 o'clock 8 o'clock 9 o'clock 10 o'clock 11 o'clock and 12 o'clock so I will show you how to write the time so it we will write it as 1 o apostrophe clock so this is the way you write the timing so it is 2 o clock then we go to when it is 3 o'clock when it is 4 o'clock we write it as 4 0 o clock for 5 o'clock when it is 6 o'clock when it is 7 o'clock we see it as when it is 8 o'clock when it is 9 o'clock when it is 10 o'clock when it is 11 o'clock and when it is 12 o'clock so these this is the way we write the timings and next we'll move on to the hands of the clock so the small hand is called the the small hand is called the ha hand it shows as the as that is whether it is one o'clock two o'clock three o'clock four o'clock five o'clock so it tells us what is the a ah. and the big and the big and is called the minute and is the minute and is the minute and it shows us whether it is 1.30, 2.30, 3.30 it shows us the minutes of the clock so the small hand shows us the hour and the big hand shows us the minute so now using these small models of clocks we are going to draw the hands of the clock for three different hours so are you ready to look at me what I am doing so first we will first we are going to do We are going to draw the handle for the time 3 o'clock. So I am going to draw the handle for the time 3 o'clock. So we have, so I have the clock and I have the, the timings written that is from 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I have the model of the clock with the time written on it and I'm going to mark the time for 3 o'clock. So when it is 3 o'clock, the small hand, the R hand will be facing number 3. It will show number 3. This is the small hand. So it is showing number 3. And the big hand, that is the minute hand, will face or point towards number 12. So, the big hand or the minute hand points to number 12. So, then the time is read as 3 o'clock. So, I will repeat this once again. So, now we are going to mark the time 3 o'clock. We want to know how to draw the hands of the clock. So when it is 3 o'clock, the small and that is the R and 
points towards number 3 and the big and that is the minute and points towards number 12. So then the time will be read as 3 o'clock. Next we will move on to the next number. So now I am going to draw the time for 6 o'clock. So now I want to know what, where will the hands of the clock face towards which number will the hands of the clock face. So in that case I have the same a small model of the clock. You could also do or try to draw using a small bangle or any round object. You could take a round object as big as you want, place it on a paper and just draw around and then you can mark the timings or you can take any square box, whatever shape you like you can do and try to mark the timings for the clock. So now I am going to mark for 6 o'clock. So now I have the numbers written and now for 6 o'clock the small and that is the R hand faces towards the number 6. So I have the small hand and it is facing number 6. So the small hand faces towards number 6 and the big and faces that is the minute and faces towards number 12. So then we read the time as 6 o'clock that is the small and faces towards number 6 and the big and that is the minute and faces towards number 12. Then we say that the time is 6 o'clock. Then shall we move on to another one example. So I'm now I am going to mark the timing for 9 o'clock. So I want to know how should I place the handles of the clock. So by doing these small examples or activities you will be able to read the timing fluently. So next I have another clock, another model of a clock and I have the numbers that is from 1 to 12 I have the numbers written and now I want to know how to place the handles for 9 o'clock. So when it is 9 o'clock the small handle that is the R handle faces or points towards number 9. So it points towards number 9 and the long, big hand or the minute hand it faces or points towards number 12. So that time we read this as 9 o'clock. So the small hand or the R hand faces towards number 9 and the big hand or the minute hand as we call it points towards 12 and the time is read as 9 o'clock. So I hope you have understood this concept of marking the timing. So 3 o'clock the small hand or the R hand points towards 3 and the big hand or the minute hand points towards 12. For 6 o'clock the small hand or the R hand as we call it points towards 6 and the big hand or the minute hand points to 12. And for 9 o'clock the small hand or the R hand points towards 9 and the big hand or the minute hand points to number 12. So this is the way we learn to write the, draw the hands of the clock.